Hey everyone, welcome to the TSX quarantine update. everyone so it's been a while since the last video I did with the TSX build guide there hasn't been much changes to the car we are in lockdown here in Ontario until June 30th so that means we're going to be in this garage for a while trying to figure out what to do with this car uh, with the US dollar being so high it's hard to get car parts in at a good price and also with all the track dates cancelled there's not much to look forward to this year I was supposed to be in Northern Speed Time Attack, CSCS series of Time Attack, and also attend a few Great Life events in the States. That would have gave me around 14 events in total that would be competitive. And also I would do some lapping days. So we can say I was looking forward to about 20 track days this year, and it's not gonna happen. With that said, yes, the US dollar is higher, so I won't be doing much to the car other than what I can do within this garage. So whether that's make the car lighter or I can probably make my new splitter if I get the material. Uh, I haven't checked to see if the shop is open, but if it is open, that'll be something I will accomplish. Make some new brackets for it and make sure it's mounted nice and do a stand test on video for you guys. Uh, another thing is yes, make it lighter in the back. I've seen that James Howen with his Grid Life Touring Club TSX he removed the rear deck where the speakers were. I'm sure that weighs a lot. It looks pretty heavy, maybe 30 to 35 pounds at least. Uh, that should help out with the weight with the car since the car has only been getting heavier with the new supercharger setup. Another thing I was thinking of doing was uh, taking out my front windows, but I'm going to check with Northern Speed and CSCS and Grid Life uh, to make sure I just remain in the same class. We have our front windows down during the time attack event anyway, so removing them completely would save a lot of weight and it would make sense. I just want to make sure it's within the rule book that they have and within uh, you know some type of regulation between all three time attack series. That said, yes, this is going to be a very short video. There's not much going on with this lockdown, uh, but I am still racing online on PlayStation GT Sport. My tag name is BCP0715. I have seen that Global Time Attack and Grid Life have done online events where they've done the eSport or eRace version of their event on Forza and then a set of Corsa. I was thinking of talking to other racers that are also on PlayStation with GT Sport to organize an event. Uh, we can make it a monetized event or we can just have fun, either one. But if you are interested in joining us, just please add me at BCP0715 on PSN. The next video I'm going to do is most likely going to be on my AIM Solo DL. I did not get to use it last year as the car had an engine failure when I got it. But this year, of course, I'm hoping to use it once this quarantine lockdown is over. I still need to mount it, so I'm just debating between two mounting locations. Either behind the steering wheel where I can see it with my speed or in the old infotainment center. Uh, of course, I took my infotainment out. I have a plate there now. I might mount it to the plate with my air fuel ratio gauge that I have there and also get an oil temp gauge and also add that inside the infotainment center. All right, guys, so with that said, I do know that the first confirmed date I've seen for an event is in September. Now, I hope that since we're going to be starting so late in the season that if the weather is permitting, they continue to drive these events throughout the rest of the season as long as we can do it. Maybe even until late November, as long as it's not too cold, we can try to make up time that we lost in the early spring and the late fall. All right, everyone, so enjoy your quarantine life. I hope it's great. Uh, let me know what you think I should make a video on during the shutdown, whether it be the garage, the car, a specific part, or even a review on any parts. Please let me know. Thanks.